Here we are in Canva. Now I'm going to create a design. I'm going to click here. I'm going to scroll down to custom design or custom size. And the width, because we're using regular sheets of paper, is 8.5 or 8.5 by 11 height. And pixels have to be in inches. Uh oh, I forgot to change that first. So you have to change inches first. 8.5 tab 11 and now we're in inches. Create new design. Okay, here we are. I can zoom in and out here. Now, take a look over here. We have different design templates that we can use. You can type in, you know, search uh, words to search for different templates. Uh, poster. T-shirts. So for screen printing with a single color, we just want to find an image or create an image that we could make into a single color, into a single color, kind of like this. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo, or something like this. This looks kind of cool, but we would have to do some modifying in order to make this work for a T-shirt. For instance, this background we would have to make it white. And of course, all the text, we would have to make one color as well. And again, if we were doing multicolor screen printing, we would have a couple different colors going on here that we could use. But in this case, we're just going to start with a single color. And I could modify things in here. I could change the words. I could modify the shape of the text, go up here to effects, scroll down, and curve. If I scroll down even further, I can adjust the angle of the curve as well. And I can adjust the size by grabbing these corner bars. There, I like that. I could add more text by clicking the text button. I'm going to make it bigger. I can grab it, drag it down. I can change the font style. I could add more items to it. <clears throat> if I wanted to free draw on here, I could. I could add elements like images shapes. I can search elements. There are a lot of options. I can upload my own files by clicking here, upload files. These are the files that I've already uploaded. Again, there's just a lot of options in Canva. All right, let's quickly talk about files that you upload for screen printing. When you're screen printing, you want to have nice clean defined edges in your artwork. For instance, if I zoom in, you can see these images are very fine. There's a nice line here. Even these internal parts have very defined lines. There's no pixelization. I'm going to bring this image in. To get that image, I went to Marathon. And then I typed in WI for Wisconsin. And then I added logo after that. Got images, there's the logo. Now this little teaser image is a very small file. So you usually want to open this up. And then this is your larger file where I can right click, save image. And then I just uploaded it into Canva. Let's take a look at the edges on this image. You can see there is a lot of noise in here. A lot of stray pixels. These lines are not very clean. So when you go to print the transparency for this image, like I have here, you're going to end up with a lot of little lines. Your print on your screen print is not going to be very defined. It's just going to look really kind of sloppy. 
So there's a couple things that you can do here. I mean, you could go in and try and clean all this stuff up with an image editing program like GIMP before you bring it in. And then, of course, because it's because we're doing just one single color, you would want to then convert this into all black, the whole image into a black. You'd want to convert the entire image to a black color. There's a better way. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to bring this image in. I'm going to zoom in. And you can see that this image here has nice, clean, defined lines. That's because I converted this image over here into something called a vector image, or SVG image. What vectoring is, is it's not a regular image where you're zooming in to the individual pixels and so forth. What vectoring is, is it's just using math to create lines and curves rather than pixels to represent an image. This allows vector images to be scaled to any size without losing quality. So as I'm scaling out and scaling back in, mathematically, it's reconstructing all of these nice clean lines. So how do we convert from this image to a vector image? We're going to use something called Convertio. It's Convertio.co. Here's where you choose the file, in this case the file that I downloaded from the high school web page. So there it is, it's uploaded. Now it wants to know what I want to convert this to. I'm going to go down here to Vector, and we want SVG. And then I click Convert. Once it's finished, I download it. I go back to Canva. I click Upload. And there's my converted SVG, which if I just look at it, Convertio took all the color, converted it to black, and then it converted it into a vector with nice clean lines. So now if I wanted, I could use this in my print. I change their size. I'm going to select everything again using the shift key so I can move it to where I want it. Grab the logo, put it down here. And now we're ready to print this to a piece of transparency. But first, we have to download the image. We can't print directly from Canva. Now we'll go over here to File and download. It suggests a PNG, but that will put it into a pixelized image. So we want to take an SVG or a PDF. Let's just go regular, let's just go right to an SVG, which again is a vector image. We download it, there it is. Let's take a look at it. Now I want to zoom in and you can see that this is nice and crisp. Had I downloaded it instead to a PNG, let's open this, and we zoom in, you can see the pixels. So again, vector is definitely the way to go for screen printing. Now we're ready to print it onto a piece of transparency and get it ready for screen printing.